so let's go again. Right. So we have x plus 2 over 3 minus x minus 1 over 2 equals 6. Yeah. So you did this part already. Got a common denominator of 6. Yeah. And then where did you get this 2 and this 3? What did you do to get that? Um, I did like 3 goes into 6. That's exactly how you do it. So the 3 goes into 6 twice. And then you have your x plus 2. And then the 2 goes into the 6. 3 times. 3 times. And you have your x minus 1. So this then, which you have all right, is 2x plus 4. And then your minus 3x, and you even got the plus 3, which is brilliant. The minus 3 by the minus 1. And that's all over 6 equals 6. And then, did you get this right? 2 minus 3 is minus 1x plus 7 over 6 equals 6. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so you kind of redid this down here. You don't need to do that. You can work from here. Yeah. Okay, that's why I have the word hence in the question. So we put that over 1. Okay. Now, yeah, there's a couple of ways of doing this. Uh, I suppose, what would the common denominator be between 6 and 1? 6? Yeah, so the common denominator is 6. So those adjustments that you made up there for the bottom line, you have to do the same thing down here. Yeah. So 6 into 6 goes? Once. Once by minus 1x plus 7. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Equals. And then 1 into 6? Six, 6. By? 6. Yeah? So, what happens when you do 1 times this bracket? Um, minus 1x. Yeah? Plus 7. Yeah, equals? 36. 36, okay? Now, because this 6 is a common denominator, and above the line you have an equals, which is an equation, yeah. you can multiply the whole thing by 6 and just cancel off that 6. Okay. Okay, you can only do that if yeah. you have an equals. Okay, so now we're left with this. How do we solve this? Uh... You know how to solve this. We're trying to isolate the x. So that means the 7 has to move and the minus 1 has to move. So how do we move? Or what do we move first and how do we move it? Um, move the 7 over. To and it becomes? Minus 7. Okay, and then it's gone from here. Yeah? Yeah. So I have minus 1x equals? Uh, 29. Good. And how do I get rid of the minus 1? Put it over... X. No. Oh, I want to keep the one. X. Exactly. So the minuses will cancel and the ones will cancel. Yeah. But if I divide by minus one here? Do it on the right. Yep. So now I have X equals and 29 divided by minus one? Minus 29. Yep. Okay. And that's it.